Hello, everyone. Today, we are going to tell you about the movie, What We Do in the Shadows, 2014. Every few years, there's a monster party. But six months before that, a group of vampires decided to hire a film crew with the promise that they wouldn't bite them. First of all, Viago demonstrates how vampires get out of their beds. He is 379 years old. For him, the opening of curtains is a very important moment. Suddenly, the sun has not set yet. And once it's night outside, you need to wake up the neighbors with whom he is having fun. Deacon is still a lover of sleeping upside down. Vladislav is very loving, and Peter is an ancient vampire who is not interested in attending any vampire meetings there. When the trio gathers, Viago declares that some of them do not clean the apartment, namely the Deacon, who has not washed the dishes for the last five years, and the whole kitchen is littered with bloody cups. Because of this, Vladislav is ashamed to invite people to visit. Deacon does not see this as a problem, because they still become fodder. In this group, Deacon plays the role of a bully, and he is 183 years old. A long time ago, he was a junk seller, but he was caught by monster and dragged away to a terrible castle. There he was bitten and given vampire blood. It was Petr. Since then, they have become friends. As for Vladislav, when he pulls out the bodies of the victims, you can say that he is sweeping up. Vladislav is almost the oldest of them, and an idea comes to him. What if we find slaves? When he was still a man, he was very famous, though not in a good way. But he has a favorite torture chamber where he no longer goes. Well, Viago says that if one of them decides to eat a victim on his expensive sofa, then you should lay the floor with newspapers and be very careful. But Vladislav considers this a real nonsense, because he is a normal vampire. When suddenly the deacon gets tired of constant reproaches and argues in raised tones, until Vladislav does not understand what is going on here at all. In the end, Dickon has to wash all the dishes, and Vladislav has to vacuum. In an interview, he says that he became a vampire at the age of 16 and stopped growing. That's why he looks so young. Vampires have a pretty poor reputation, as if they are very old and sit in their castles. During the Second World War, Deacon was on the side of the Third Reich. Hitler gathered a secret army of vampires, but nothing came of it, and Deacon had to flee. Viago was sure that love knows no boundaries. Therefore, he came to this country because of his love for a mortal girl. But it took a year and a half, and during that time, she had already married. In memory of those days, he has a silver medallion, and if it didn't burn the skin of vampires, it would be a wonderful gift. In their free time, the trio plays musical instruments, and not to say that they do it well. That's why they want to go to the city. To do this, they need to dress in the best things. But since they don't see their reflections, it takes a lot of time. They help each other by sketching their appearance. One might think, where did they get so many clothes from? It's very simple. They remove it from their victims. Vladislav's style is called delightful ass. In the dead of night, the trio finally picks up their clothes and goes out into the city, where they try to blend in with the crowd. There is a purely vampire problem. In order to enter the room, they must be invited by people, but they don't understand why they just can't come in. About 60 vampires live in the capital and in the region. Each of them knows Big Kamar's establishment, a purely vampire institution. Everyone can go there, but that doesn't mean there are a lot of people there. There's an appointment with Jackie, She's Deacon's familiar, who orders dinner at his house. They have an agreement. Deacon is supposed to give her eternal life, but for some reason he doesn't do anything about it. Being an intellectual, Viago does everything so that his victims are not afraid. But he doesn't forget to plant newspapers. Vladislav is a master in hypnosis. He used to be able to hypnotize whole crowds, and now God grant at least one programmer. That night, Jackie brings two victims. Viago piles up pasta and all for the sake of Deacon's favorite trick. They offer people spaghetti, followed by hypnosis, as if they were worms. Nick doesn't understand why he was given worms, which is why he wants to leave and leaves Josephine alone with the vampires. But the trouble is, all the doors are locked, and Jackie is already leaving, because the vampire hunt has begun. To scare his victim, Vladislav turns into a cat, and after a long chase, Nick manages to run out into the street, where Petr was already waiting for him. Two months later, Deacon remembers life as a human, but he is distracted by Nick, whom Petr has made a new vampire. Nick is still having a hard time coping with his new powers. And yes, 
it was possible to enter through an ordinary door. But Nick doesn't see the need for this because he can fly. Yes, Nick understands these vampires are unlikely to accept him into their family. But while he is here, he can show them modern technology. As a token of gratitude, the trio trains him in vampire powers. So they became a new family. One day, Nick brings his friend Stu, who invites them to a club. But he doesn't know that his friend is a vampire who wants to have a snack with them from time to time. This is the first time they manage to enter a normal club. Viago is literally overwhelmed with emotions. There's even a glowing dance floor. After a couple of hours later, the group leaves the club and they stumble upon a gang of werewolves who want to understand why the film crew goes with vampires. Wanting to distract the opponents, the deacon throws an imaginary stick, but only one werewolf is led to this trick. And in order not to end the meeting with a battle, they still decide to disperse, while Stu, who didn't understand anything, was watching all this. Nick finally admits that he has become a vampire, but he swears he won't eat Stu because bro isn't food. The other vampires also liked Stu, which is why they agreed that none of them would eat him. Deacon even started knitting a scarf for Stu, who in turn teaches Viago karate techniques. Thanks to the discovery of modern technology, they learned about the existence of portable cameras and made a bunch of selfies. After which, Stu showed the real dawn, and Vladislav is amazed by this beauty. After a couple of days, Viago contacts his old familiar, who reminds him of Catherine. Old feelings were awakened, and Viago decided to visit Catherine, who is now about 90 years old. A little later, the group returns to the club, where Nick confesses to everyone that he is a vampire. One of the guys replies that he's a vampire hunter, but Nick doesn't believe him and laughs back. On this basis, a brawl occurs between Nick and Deacon, in which Deacon obviously wins. A new day is coming. Screams are heard from the basement. Petr is engulfed in flames from the sun. Vladislav tries to save his friend, but nothing comes out, and tears appear on the faces of vampires. When examining the room, they come to the conclusion that the person made his way through the window, having previously broken the pieces of wood. But Peter escaped from the sarcophagus, crushing the hunter with a stone slab from which he died. Well, the rays from the sun eliminated Peter. It turns out that this is a man to whom Nick confessed that he was a vampire. On this basis, a new quarrel begins while Stu is watching from the side, when suddenly someone knocked on the door namely the police, who were told that someone was screaming in the house. They have to go inside. Being a bad hypnotist, Viago says that nothing is happening here, but the effect of hypnosis can disappear at any second. When the policeman went into the basement, Vladislav already has to connect his charms. So the eliminated hunter turns into a drunken man sleeping under a warm blanket, and the remnants of Petir turned into glue. When they left, Nick's trial begins. He broke a bunch of rules, like bringing a mortal, but Stu's a cool kid, so it can be crossed out. In the end, he has put forward a punishment in the form of exile for an indefinite period, but Stu can come to visit whenever he wants. A few months later, the group receives an invitation to the events of the year, a masquerade of evil spirits. This is a very important event for the living dead, ranging from zombies to banshees. There is a rumor that Vladislav will be the guest of honor this year. True, this is just a rumor. His main opponent is written in the letter, the Beast. A little later, the trio begins to pick up outfits. Viago wants to become a blade, which seems wild to Deacon, but Vladislav is clearly sick and he doesn't want to go anywhere. A little later, the duo comes to the party, there, the deacon is amazed at the sight of Jackie converted. It turns out that during this time, Nick made her a vampire and dragged Stu to this party. When suddenly, the guest of honor is announced, a beast with the name Polina. The last time Vladislav saw her, she put him on a lamppost. A little later, Polina greets Stu and does not understand why he has such warm hands. Maybe he is a demon. And then it dawns on her, a mortal is in front of her. The zombie also senses something is wrong and practically eats it. Viago asks you to cover your face and move towards the exit. But Polina stops everyone and practically announces the beginning of the meal. Suddenly, Vladislav comes out of the crowd. Polina immediately declares that there is a rule for the treatment of mortals. And anyway, why are there cameras everywhere? Polina's boyfriend goes on the attack and seeing that Vladislav is starting to lose, Stu saves his friend. 
Thanks to this commotion, they manage to escape and stumble upon a group of werewolves who are trying to be chained to trees. Unfortunately, it was already too late and the full moon was beginning. The leader of the werewolves asks people to run, but since the werewolves are much faster, they first eat the operator and then stew. Nick is shocked by the loss of a friend, but Deacon explains that it's normal for a vampire to lose a friend. He should just accept it and move on. A few days pass, and Nick unexpectedly brings Stu back alive. He did not die on the ill-fated day, but became a werewolf. And since he's one of them now, vampires don't fight with werewolves anymore, and even invited to visit. Although in 30 minutes, the smell of the dog permeated the whole house, there is also a new vampire, namely Ekaterina, who can live with Viago for eternity. This is where the film comes to an end. Well, the Secret Recap channel was with you. We hope that you liked this issue. Write about it in the comments. See you very soon. Bye.